the next thing we want to actually do is jump back to Tracer Plus Desktop, and we want to send this form that we've created and, and set as wireless down to the uh, connected mobile device. So I actually have a, a connected device here. Maybe I'll zoom in for you guys. Okay, uh, that I'm going to push this form to. So I'm going to go to the Tools, Build Deploy option in Tracer Plus Desktop. Hit Deploy here. Okay, it goes through a little deployment process. At the end of this, it should open up Tra Tracer Plus on the handheld. And you can see we have the uh, start on screen set to the uh, exit poll form because that's the only one we have. So that uh, immediately when it opens up, you see that on the, on the mobile device. Okay, so um, you'll also notice it says record zero. So this uh, connected to the wireless server, and you can see there's an icon here uh, displaying that you are connected. Uh, it displayed the record count in that MySQL table. So, so far we haven't taken any exit poll results and the record count is zero. So at this point I want to jump over actually and show you guys, if you want to go to this website, um, you can jump over to, uh, let me move this out of the way here, uh, tracerplus.com slash webinars slash wireless demo. If you go to that website, um, it actually is just a web page that's displaying the information from that MySQL database. So it's just hooked up to the database and displays everything in it um, in this table here. So you can see right now there's <coughs> excuse me, no records, so there's nothing in the table. Okay, but what I'm going to actually do, and if anybody's on that website, this uh, hopefully this website works for everybody. It, it's set up with some JavaScript to refresh automatically. If something doesn't appear, maybe just hit refresh in your browser and it will display. Uh, but it should work here. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do on the mobile device is actually now make my selections for the for the polling uh, setup. Uh, so for the Senate candidate, maybe I'll pick John Smith. Okay, then it jumps over to the governor candidate. You can see here I'm going to pick Tim Rudolph. And then for the budget, I just want to pick pass or fail. And when I do this, it has an auto submit set on the budget field. So it's going to automatically save this record and send it over. So when I hit uh, pass here, it's going to go ahead and post that to our wireless server. And you can actually see in the background now the uh, selections that I just made are posted to that MySQL database and the web page now views them. So you can see there, uh, what's interesting about that is in the default application, you're filling this information out. It's all saving it locally to the device. Uh, at the end of the day, you go back and cradle it, or probably the end of the night in this case go back and cradle the device, sync it up. It can go to a database or it can go to Tracer Plus Connect, uh, but none of that information is available until the, uh, the device has been brought back to the office. Uh, in this case here, and especially in maybe an exit poll type scenario, you may want to see that information uh, more quickly than that. So what we have set up here is a website where that data is actually posted real time, and the website will go up and update automatically as these records are posted. So you could have uh, 15 devices out in the field all posting back to this page, and any time they make these selections, maybe I'll select Susan Baker, Parker Knight, and now the budget fails. Uh, and as those are going, this website in the background detects that change and updates it. So it's a pretty simple setup, uh, but it actually displays a pretty powerful feature in Tracer Plus and in this real-time mode that allows you to push the, the information from the handheld back to a, a website for people to view uh, and see those changes uh, real time. Okay, so um, from this web page here, uh, just if anybody would like to, there are some links for downloading the wireless server as well as downloading the polling application. You can also download that polling application from uh, within Tracer Plus Desktop like I showed you by opening, and opening up Tracer Plus Desktop and doing the search online samples. Uh, but if you go to this website here, you should see the links to download everything and trial it out uh, to see to see how it works. It won't connect to our, our web page here, um, but you can at least see uh, the application set up, and you may be able to post to the uh, the sample database that's provided with um, uh, the wireless server application. Okay, so let me just uh, maybe finish a couple more here, so you can see this go across um, as it's coming across real time. Okay, and you'll see it all appear on the on the website. Uh, and again, if this isn't refreshing for anybody because uh, the JavaScript may may not be compatible with all browsers, uh, just try hitting the refresh button up at the top. Okay, so uh, the last thing I just want to get into uh, with the wireless server is actually the offline and um, uh, live and offline modes of Tracer Plus. 
Uh, one thing you can do in uh, when you're in a real-time environment is actually drop into a batch mode uh, in case you lose uh, wireless connectivity. So you can continue collecting these um, exit polling results even though the, the PDA can't communicate with the wireless server. So I'm going to actually force it off by selecting down in the file menu here. See this? Uh, there's an antenna icon similar to the one showing you're, you're connected. Um, if you select this, it brings up the wireless uh, dialog where you can see different information about your your state, uh, the current mode you're in, if there's any uh, pending records that need to be sent or if there's any errors. And you can also jump to this tab here to view the records that are waiting on the device. So I can force it actually into offline mode um, by selecting this offline button down here. <clears throat> now, uh, one thing to note, this dialog will appear automatically if there is a connection failure to wireless server. So if you, for some reason, fill out the form, uh, try to submit that, and it does, can't make that connection, it'll open this form where you can either go offline or live. Uh, if you click live, it'll attempt to make that connection again and send the data. Okay. So if I actually go uh, into offline mode here, uh, you'll notice that now I have record zero because it's looking at a local database, and the little icon for showing you whether or not you're connected to the wireless server is, uh, has a red X through it, so you know you're in batch mode by looking at that information there. So now the uh, application should work the same way. Um, you're just selecting different items uh, from the form uh, and whether or not the, the budget fails and so on. So I'm just going to select a couple of random ones here. Okay, and then uh, you'll notice now it has uh, records three. Now this is, again, the local database record count. Uh, so once we're done with this, at any point, we can go back to that wireless form. Okay, and now when we open it up, it's going to jump to the offline info tab automatically, and you can see the couple of records that I filled out while we were in uh, in batch mode. So it shows you you have pen four records pending. There have been no errors. The errors will uh, be um, incremented if for some reason reason there's a failure when you uh, try to send these. Um, but once you go back into wireless range and you want to send these records that you collected in offline mode, you would just simply uh, select the Send Now button. And it'll ask you if you want to send these. And if you hit yes, it'll give you a status of the records being sent. Okay, And then you'll notice back in the, uh, the website again, those four records are now posted uh, kind of in a batch sync mode over the wireless server to this, to this uh, uh, website. Okay, So I think uh, that's kind of what I wanted to go over uh, today. Um, I'd like to, if anybody has any questions, um, I'll bring up the PowerPoint again here. Uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, there's a questions panel in your GoToMeeting toolbar. If you want to send them over, I'll see if I can answer any. Um, but I think I went over uh, all that I wanted to do uh, with setting up a batch application, turning it into a wireless real-time application, and uh, adding a little bit of a twist to it with this, uh, this website that gets automatically updated with that information. <clears throat>